I'm still in a prospects kind of mood. So let's go over to the Vancouver Canucks because within the past few days, we've had some amazing performances from our prospects, specifically within the Utica Comets. And I'll talk way more in depth about the Comets and their prospects and their players than I will about the other team because the gameplay footage is not available for the other team. I just can't find it anywhere. But the Utica Comets post all their stuff on the Twitter, so that is available here too. Let's talk about Cole Lind and Petrus Palmu, two guys drafted by the Vancouver Canucks in the 2017 NHL Entry Draft. We remember Cole Lind. He was the meme. Why isn't anyone taking Cole Lind? Those were the magical words spoken by Jim Benning on day one of draft day, and they eventually took Cole Lind in the second round with their own second round pick. He was great with the Kelowna Rockets. Really, really, really good, and some people were saying that he had quote unquote elite offensive potential. However, his first year with the Utica Comets was kind of... <sighs> it wasn't really that good. As for Petrus Palmu, he was a guy taken later in that same draft, taken in the sixth round, 181st overall. Petrus Palmu was notable because he was the line mate of additional Vancouver Canucks draftee in that year, Jonah Gajevich, who was taken in the second round with a pick that the Canucks got via the Tortorella signing in Columbus. Yeah, Gajevich is pretty much a one-for-one one trade of Tortorella, but we got his line mate in Petrus Palmu in the sixth round, and people were saying, dang, that was a great pick. I don't care if the guy's overage. The guy was pretty good with the Owen Sound attack, 98 points in 62 games in his draft, plus one or plus two year or something, but it was his most recent year before being drafted where he posted those numbers. He went over to TPS the next year and was the Rookie of the Year in the Liga. Then his short Utica Comet stint saw him play 12 games, get one assist, and then bounce back to Finland. Let's start off with Palmu just because his game in Finland is not one that I can have the video footage to and I can just verbally say it out loud. Petrus Palmu is now playing with the JYP of Ascula in the Liga. He was loaned over to that team after pretty much just trying to go to some other higher league team. He wasn't able to do that. He couldn't go to the KHL or something. No team wanted to take him. So instead of getting loaned out to TPS again, or instead of going back to Utica, Palmu stayed in Yavaskula with the JYP Hockey Club. And in his first game for that hockey team, he had two goals and two assists. They beat the Ilvis 6-4, to four, and Palmu had four points. So, that's awesome. Last season, playing for the TPS Turku, Petrus Palmu only had 18 points on the year, 4 goals, 14 assists in 29 games played. So he literally got half of his goal production last year in one game, which is awesome. Now he's not going to get 4 points a game the entire year, but... It's a great hot start for a Canucks prospect who isn't too young, but as a 5'6 guy who's built like a fire hydrant, who's 172 pounds and who has legs like tree stumps, it's a pretty good thing to see. Now let's go over onto Cole Lind, because this game actually has video footage, and no, I'm not going to show it here, it's copyrighted material. I'll leave a link in the description to the Twitter page for the comments, because they have all the goals over there from two days ago. Heck yeah, Cole Lind had three assists in one game. Last season with the Utica Comets, Cole Lind only had 17 points in 51 games played, 5 goals and 12 assists. It really wasn't a showing that people were proud to look at, and people were always expecting a little bit more out of Cole Lind ever since he stepped into the Comets organization from that great draft plus one year with the Kelowna Rockets and the WHL. However, he's off to a hot start here, and he's been getting his real good kicks in. 
In fact, we were all complaining about how last year, Gadjevich and Lind weren't being given the ice time. Well, game one of the Utica Comets against the Binghamton Devils. Cole Lind and Gadjevich are on the top two lines. The first line of the Utica Comets goes as follows. It's Jonah Gadjevich playing with Tyler Grayovac and Zach McEwen. And that second line, has got Reed Boucher, Carter Camper, and Cole Lind. So it's a very interesting distribution of the players here. Cole Lind is finally being given that top six ice time, and Gadjevich is on the first line. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Not to mention the fact that Ole Olevi is playing top line minutes with Ashton Sautner. He actually had a pretty good game in this one as well. If you wanted to take a look at what Yo Levy was able to do in the first game against the Devils, he got zero points, but he should have had a point. He had an assist on Carter Camper's first goal on the year. That one was also assisted by Cole Lind himself. So let's go over just what happened here. This one was a really, really, really nice performance by the Utica Comets. This one starts out in the Comets zone. It's Ole Olevi who receives the pass. At least it goes over to the point, then it's brought back in by the Devils, and then Yolevi is there once more. He sends a really long stretch pass that finds its way onto the stick of Cole Lind, who brings it in over the blue line. He centers it for Camper. Camper takes a shot. It's off a few bodies, and it's in. Initially, it's thought to be Reed Boucher's goal, but later on, it was dubbed Camper's goal. So Camper gets his first goal on the year. Ole Olevi should have an assist on that, but he didn't. But Colind, as the guy who gives it off to Camper, does have an official assist. In fact, Lind was not done. Just a minute later, Colin does a really, really good move to set up Reed Boucher in front. Boucher is the guy who brings it in, finds it over to Yashik. Yashik throws it in front to Lind, who's in on a mini breakaway. Then Lind, with a little bit too much speed, he doesn't go on net. Instead, he goes over to the side, spins around, the goalie is beat, centers it on the spin around move for Boucher, who takes a shot and he scores. What a great goal by Boucher. Fantastic setup by Yashik and Lind. Lind with his second assist of the game just a minute after his first one, and he's looking confident like the wind, man. Reed Boucher gets himself what should be his first goal on the year. Yashik, we all talked about Yashik previously too. I said he's one of the most underrated, if not the most underrated Vancouver Canucks prospects who has NHL potential. He gets involved in the play as well. And Cole Lind is up to two assists on the game. It's looking pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. I didn't think that Lind had that sick playmaking ability in front like he did. Going over towards five minutes left in the second period, Cole Lynn gets his third assist on the night, and this one is beautiful. Not beautiful because it's flashy. Not beautiful because it's a highlight real play. It's beautiful because Cole Lind keeps the play alive, and his utter determination is what allows this goal to happen. Cole Lind receives the puck as he's going into the boards in the offensive zone. The pass comes over to him. He's held up at the far hash marks. There's one devil who's on his back, and then there's another devil who gets on his back. Cole Lind is pinned against the boards. He's kicking the puck around in his skates to keep possession. He kind of does a little bit of a tip on it with the stick to bring it back towards him, but eventually he kicks it over free to the near side for Reed Boucher, who comes right in, pops it out on the backhand into the slot, over for Breeze Bois, who takes a shot and he rips it up high. This is a Breeze Bois goal assisted by Boucher and Lind, and Lind is the one who makes it happen. Fantastic goal over here by Breeze Bois with the shot, an amazing assist by Boucher to set up Breeze Bois, and an awesome, awesome play to keep it alive for Cole Lind. That wraps up pretty much Cole Lin's first game on the year for the Comets. It's a stellar three-point performance, and one that probably trumps all of his performances throughout 2018-19 with the Comets, because he's already off to a hot start. And along with Jonah Gajevich on the first line, we're gonna get ourselves a big boost to our prospect stock here with the Utica Comets. Just wait till Goldolbin 
Hope and Berchi are on this team. Hope you enjoyed this video, social 9 and bye. <laughs>